So I can't give I can't give the points to Julia because in her one second that she had to say something, she didn't say anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Deviation. <laughs> <laughs> How many seconds are left here? That's it. Well, that was the alarm then. Yeah. Oh, so you okay. get the points, okay. I think. Amanda, I won't take the victory, and I never question the integrity of the arbiter. But Adrian, I'd like you to please explain the four different contexts. Yes. <laughs> 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 Ludo, you're not in a position to make a challenge to the judge. I did say a very harsh on you. Welcome to Qualified Tutors. End of year, uh, just a minute. Uh, as James was was mentioning just then, it, it, this is going to be based on uh, Nicholas Parsons' version, but instead of Nicholas Parsons, we have our very own Adrian Conway, who is just as good and is currently flying sky high. Um, and we have with us five contestants. In just a minute, we're going to go around and introduce our, ourselves one by one, and maybe just at the end of our each introduction, mention how many minutes of Just a Minute you've played before in your life, just so we have an idea. Um, this is something slightly different to what we normally have on the Qualified Tutor podcast. We uh, decided that it being Wednesday the 23rd of December, uh, tomorrow being Christmas Eve and the next day being Christmas Day, it's unlikely people will be tuning in to the QT podcast, although we know people do that at all hours of the day, 365 days of the year. So we've decided to have a little bit of fun. Uh, I am uh, happy, sad, ashamed that I have a, a gin and tonic next to me. Uh, I know that Amanda uh, just rushed off to get a glass of red wine. So it's that kind of mood, it's that kind of spirit, uh, and hopefully... Uh, the evidence has always suggested that you are at your most creative after a few units of alcohol. So perhaps that will help each of the contestants here today. Um, Julia, please kick us off with, with an introduction. That was not a tutoring tip about the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm towards the bottom of my list. Um, I think that we should all be really good at this because we should all re be really, really good at explaining ideas I have a feeling I'm going to be a bit rubbish though. So um, I am Julia Silva. I'm the founder of Qualified Tutor. I was a deputy head until about three hours ago. And <laughs> I just left my school and I'm surrounded yeah, by thank you. Good news? It is good news because it's good news for Qualified Tutor. And thankfully all the little girls in my school and some lovely teachers are quite sad about it today. And so am I. So this is one of those bittersweet evenings for me. And that's a lovely, lovely place to transition from and through. And I'm really glad to be here with you. We are glad to have you here, Julia, as well. Uh, James. Um, oh, hi. Yeah, I'm James Shep. I'm a, I used to teach in a number of um, boarding schools in Britain. Technically, I live in Britain, but I've been marooned on my little island 20 miles out to sea off the coast of Maine for the last six months I was expecting to come back in December, and that wasn't a good idea. I was expecting to come back in January. That doesn't seem to be a good idea. So God knows when. Um, but I, otherwise, I live in Shropshire. Um, and um, anyway, and I used to be a teacher of some languages and classics and English and stuff over the time. And now you're going to – this whole exercise is going to be an enormous challenge because while I can type stuff, um, I'm – kind of famous for from endless ummings and awings in actually speaking so I th i'm worrying about the hesitation um charge <laughs> as we all are james yeah. as we all are. Um, i've never played before so yeah you asked us to tell us that yeah so i'm a i'm a just a minute virgin if that's an ex acceptable expression <laughs> it is just for tonight and just in this session <laughs> otherwise not acceptable jesse um, yeah, so my name is Jessie Pizzolides. I am an upper six student from London um, and I set up uh, my own um, tutoring initiative called Mentor Junior where we join bright motivated secondary school and university students with children from local primaries um, and yeah it's just a wonderful learning community spreading the love of learning for the sake of it. Um, and yeah I'm very excited to be here tonight. I am um, also have zero minutes of just a minute on my track record so yeah <laughs> it'll be fun amanda go ahead 
Hey, I'm Amanda Cremona. Um, I live in Bedford and I've been tutoring for about 12 years um, and I work with mostly dyslexic children at the moment. Um, I finished the, I did the qualified tutor course and have met this great team of people. Um, just a minute, I have zero knowledge and um, and I'm really nervous. <laughs> Adrian's going to be gentle with us. Yeah. Okay, well, keep keep drinking and you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> yes, we're, we're, we're stepping outside of our comfort zone this evening, but I, I believe in order to encourage students of ours to, to, to do the same, we have to model uh, our own practice. So just a little run through. So my name's Ludo Miller. Um, I am a host of the Qualified Tutor podcast. I am... Uh, been at Qualified Tutor since since the very, very early days. Uh, I've loved every minute of it and uh, have also probably just by a very narrow margin got the most just a minute experience. Yeah. Uh, and just in just a second, we'll, we'll introduce our, our host, Adrian. Um, but just for a quick run through of the rules, both so that our listeners know what the hell is going on and actually the same for our participants. Um, every now and again, I see slightly frowning faces from uh, the rest of you, which means that I know the internet is, has just gone a bit uh, fuzzy. But um, Adrian will introduce a topic and he will pick choose one of us to start for each topic. Each round is 60 seconds. But obviously those 60 seconds are going to be increased by any challenges or any interruptions or any continuations. Um, and, and the aim is to speak for 60 seconds, uninterrupted, with no deviations, no hesitations, no repetitions. Um, if you think that another, the contestant who's speaking has deviated or repeated or hesitated, then you can challenge. And in just a second, we'll go around and each one of us will do, will give our buzzing noise that alerts Adrian to the fact that we believe that there uh, has been interruption. Hello there. My name's Adrian. I'm one of the facilitators for QT, so I'll, I'll be uh, the host tonight. Um, I, I like to think of myself as a judge this evening, and I think the power of that is going to be making me quite heady. Um, so I will not be easy on you. I will be quite tough on you all. Uh, so there you go. That's the situation. So I'm based in Cumbria, um, which <laughs> um, the internet up here seems to be um, managing quite well, unlike Ludo's in Gloucestershire. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what that's what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to be quite tough on you. So I will be looking out for those hesitations, deviations, and whatever the other one was, and anything else that I make up along the way as well. <laughs> okay, and, and the first the first uh, victim, I mean the first person to go, will be James. James, I mean, you might find this one quite straightforward. So I'll just get the stopwatch ready. And uh, what I'd like you to talk about for one minute is the best book you have read go book okay well the best book i ever read was a novel by a russian novelist who was quite competent at writing in more than one language he had a golden childhood and then lost it all in the revolution i suspect you are beginning to figure out whom i'm talking about he is a uh, man who achieved great notoriety for his most famous novel, which I have to say I class among those I have valued the greatest of. And he is um, a... <laughs> All of them. <laughs> you were doing so well, I could have no chance. <laughs> That was quite impressive up to a point there, James. How many seconds are left? 11. Yeah, I just, oh, 11. oh, too easy. 11 to go, James. Are you ready to resume? Oh, I, oh, I see. I thought, I thought it gets passed to a challenger. It doesn't get passed to a challenger. It does. Okay. It gets passed to me. I've challenged you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Consider yourself yeah. challenged. Okay. The best book I've ever read is The Princess Bride by William Goldman, which is just a nice, easy one to choose because... It is a fantastic and satirical fairy tale and romp. It is witty and warm. All right, challenge. I know. How could, what do you mean rump? Rump. Oh, it's rump with, up. oh, but you said rump with a U. <laughs> it's oh. not. <laughs> <You're> deviation. <laughs> <laughs> How 
many seconds are left here? That's it. Well, that's the alarm then. Yeah. Oh, so you okay. get the points, okay. I think. I think I got yeah. 200 points, yeah? Yeah, you stole James's points. Excellent, excellent. You did so well. Okay, so that's what happens, is it? If you challenge and it's agreed... Yes, the trick is you to take... challenge in the final few seconds. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Do all the hard work. Go ahead, Adrian, whose turn is it? Okay, Amanda, are you ready to go? And I'd like you to talk for one minute about your hero. Oh, My hero. My hero would be my dad. Um, because he is a really funny guy. And um, he has gone through a lot when my mum was around he 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 was always there for her and um he's always been really really supportive of me um and he we want to do more <laughs> go on james okay okay james you've got oh, 20, stop, stop 20 to the seconds judge. left 21 seconds. Right. Okay, well, my hero was certainly not Napoleon, nor was it Stalin, nor was it Hitler, but rather an unsuspected fellow called Bannister Tarleton. He was a terrible man, but an excellent cavalry officer who raised hell up and down the Carolinas in the 1780s. He is famous in the National Portrait Gallery for his transvestite almost... Okay, James, well done there. You're good. That was brilliant. I'd like, I'd like to maybe hear another five, ten minutes about Bannister Tarleton. He's called? kind of Tarleton, T A R T L. He was just, he just, I, I'm frankly, he's just the first thing that came into my head for some reason. Yeah, um, mm. yeah. But uh, okay, more anon if you want. We can, we can communicate privately. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But he's in the National Portrait Gallery, and he's got a quite a <coughs> late eighteenth century costume. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Well, that's two right. points, James. I think there. Okay. So who's uh, who? What's the next uh, topic? Okay. So um, the next person, Jesse. Um, I'd like you, please, to talk for a minute because you're in you're in Cyprus at the moment <laughs> about a Cypriot Christmas. Ooh. Wow, Ooh. a Cypriot Christmas. Well, I don't know if you've ever watched my big fat Greek wedding. However, the families are compatible in both size, spirit and consumption of cheese and meat. So I guess you could imagine it as, well, I mean, this year, unfortunately, because of COVID, uh, we have a 10 person rule. I don't know who came up with this because I have never seen a Cypriot family under the size of 20. So um, our family has split this year, unfortunately. <laughs> Yes, I'm James, sorry. challenge. Okay. Uh, okay. Repetition family. About oh. Three words oh, are you not allowed to like a word? Sad. Well, that's okay. Well, I will, I'll withdraw that. Because <laughs> of... <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Now that I know, now I know. It's okay. Up to, it's I... up, to the judge, up to the judge to legislate, but I'm happy to withdraw that as well. Oh, I, I... I did say it very, very many times, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I, think, I think I think the points were different. That's the point that I'm making. That you were talking about family, but in different ways, different contexts. Uh, so I'm going to reject James's challenge. Or just Jessie, being lenient. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I'm going to let Jesse continue. Also, we just want to hear more. <laughs> want to hear more? Um, Interesting. Right. Okay, so you're at 29 seconds. Okay. Um, the food consists of souvla, which is lamb put on a spit with various herbs and lemon, and it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> um, lots of bread and dessert. And yeah, we usually play games after dinner, um, trying to, I mean, cards is huge. Um, Kind of the gambling tendencies do tend to come out at that time of night, which is both lovely and alarming at times. But yeah. Woo! Well done. Six thousand uh, points to Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> the word My newfound knowledge. Right on. 
Okay, that was very good. Very yeah, so I think it, it, it's good to clarify that bit. I think um, Julie was clarifying just before some of you guys arrived, but words like and, but, then. Yeah, you know, structural yeah, words. Yeah. Those kind of things. And um, conventional yeah. Come on, Adrian, put us okay. back on there. Uh, um, so, Ludo, uh, assuming your internet will be okay, I think this is right up your street. Um, I'd like you to talk for a minute about why we should listen to podcasts. Go. They are a medium that have gained much popularity in the past 10 years. They allow listeners to delve deep into the worlds of the hosts and the guests on the show. Topics as wide as NFL football, Gold hunting. <laughs> it's, it's gone. What does what does gold hunting mean? I have no idea what gold hunting means. <laughs> Deviation. <laughs> okay, that's a challenge by Julia. Deviation. Right. Ready? How many seconds? You've got Four. twenty-two, Julia. Oh, that's too many. Seconds. Okay. Podcasts Go. are great when you're cooking and you want to escape into other people's ideas and worlds and I have very frequently binge listened an entire podcast series as I go about my daily activities and that kind of immersive kind of listening works for me oh, yep. really well. Did I get it? Whoa! Got it. Who did the challenge? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was the bell. Rats. Okay, because we've got it. competitive spirit is flowing now. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. So uh, that leaves Julia. Okay. And Julia, what we'd like you to talk about, please. You, you're shaking your head. I haven't said no, it yet. It's going to be bad. Go on. <laughs> it's not going to be bad. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Uh, I'd like you to talk about a family tradition. Oh. Go. I can't. It's too cynical today. We've been isolating for five days. So we have used and abused all our family traditions and we've totally run out of them. We've made Play-Doh, we've done baking, we've played cornstarch and water, we've written books, we've doodled our names, we've read every book in the house twice to each other and to ourselves. And that was before 6, 7.30 this morning. So there are no family traditions left in my home except... Find the walls together. <laughs> Somebody interrupt me. Hesitation. Hesitation. Uh, I, James. Uh, uh, That's a challenge by James. Okay, James, you've got 20 seconds left. Off you go. Uh, traditions? Okay. Well, family traditions are a very important element in every kin group that exists on this planet. They can go from one religion to another. And in my childhood, we were all raised in different religions just to cover all bases. So I was a neo-Norse. There you go. You've got that. Give them another minute. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have made it five minutes on the topic. We'll give, we'll give. <laughs> just for James. <laughs> for James. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's round one. So you've all had an opportunity for round one. And the scores are, so far, Julia, four, Ludo, zero, <laughs> James, four, Amanda, zero, Jesse, two. Ooh, James. Okay, so all to mm. play for in round two. And uh, there could be some more challenging to get some more points there as well. Yeah. Okay, okay, well, just I think we should award we should award Ludo some sort of points on the assumption that I mean, as a kind of uh, compensation for his Gloucestershire um, Wi-Fi or whatever it is. He's not going to trounce us, James. Don't help him out. I'm telling you. Okay. He's, he's I think, I think James, what, what, what would be more appropriate is if we all had a, a whip round and put a fiver in a, in a, a tin for Ludo. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's cool, <laughs> yeah, it's very hilly around Dalesworth. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's probably true. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we'll yeah. start off with... Um, who should we start with? Let's start with Jesse. Um, and Jesse, you've you've set up your own agency, which is amazing for someone of your age. So, what I would like you to talk about for one minute is um, who is in control, the tutor or the student? 
I yeah. think this is quite, you know, almost philosophically charged, you know, is it the dog or the um, I think that it should be the tutor. I think that as we learn in our qualified tutor training, always listen to the tutee, listen to how they are, be a thermostat, not a thermometer. And in that sense, I think that the tutee's mood of the day and outlook is perhaps in control. However, at the hand, the tutor and what they believe would be beneficial for that particular lesson. Therefore, I think that it's never really one or the other. Um, it's always uh, it's always a mixture of what would be the most beneficial at that time. I also think that um, having saying who's in control perhaps puts a bitter taste on the matter. I think it's not. Yeah. Well done, Jesse. That was very very professional. I, I did see James leaning forward at one point there. I thought there was a challenge coming. I kicked him under the table. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the hypothetical. That was table. very good. That was very good. good. Yeah. Well done yeah. for quoting the course. Just, Jesse, do you say you're in the upper six? I am, yeah. Wowee. <laughs> Super impressive. Um, yeah, sorry, one sec. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. I don't think I spoke to I think it's Okay, so Amanda, your turn now. What yeah. we'd like you to talk about, please, is the best place that you have ever visited. Okay, yes. off you go. Hold on, oh, hold on, no, give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hesitation, go on. Let's go. <laughs> okay. The best place I've ever visited, when I, I grew up in a village um, just outside Bedford and um, I very often go, well, no, not so often now, but go and visit there. And it's the most beautiful place. It was a small village called Stevington and it's well known for having a holy well just at the bottom of the church. Um, and when you go there, you walk un sort of underneath the church part and um this this spring water comes out and it's really beautiful and you can go walking all along the river there it's also the village has also got a windmill um which you can go inside which again is is just really beautiful because it looks over the whole village and it's also Ooh. got something <laughs> oh, ludo a challenge from ludo can't believe i'm interrupting one of the most beautiful descriptions ever but I would say there were perhaps four different uses of the word village there. Oh. Or, or the same word village, sorry. Or oh, the same uses. Oh, okay. No, and I was so near the end. Um, right, that's it. I'm not talking to you anymore. That's why he, that's why he jumped then. <laughs> and I've got no points. So even the sympathy vote you could have given me. That's very sad. Oh. Oh. We've never seen this that's up to you. the judge. That's up to the judge. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I'm not. I, I'm, I'm not going to uphold Ludo's challenge there because I do think it's like Jesse's. It was in. It was there was. I felt there was different context about village. So you've got three <laughs> seconds, Amanda, which I think will be will, will be okay with. Off you go. Okay. The other thing about the village is that it, right in the centre, it has a, a cross. Oh, that's that it. You can. <laughs> oh, <no>! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, Amanda. Is there a bonus? <laughs> most use of the word village <laughs> i was expecting i was half expecting amanda to say in her three seconds just village 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was it was a little bit of an oversight there amanda. <laughs> i was being generous with the upholding of, of uh, sorry the, the, okay let ludo win that one <laughs> Amanda, I won't take the victory. And I never question the integrity of the arbiter. But Adrian, I'd like you to please explain the four different contexts. That <laughs> <laughs> village. Yes, I'm, I'm afraid as a contestant, Ludo, you're not in a position to make a challenge to the judge. I did say a bit very harsh on you. I don't want to exit you from this Zoom meeting. However, <laughs> if you show descent, it's much more, we'll do. <laughs> it's an ejector seat button, I think, on Zoom now. <laughs> we'll just, uh, we'll just turn his internet off. 
you don't even have to do that, Adrian. All you have to do no, is make a call. This is very, very true. Very true. Okay, so next next up then is uh, it is you, Ludo, actually, um, and this is this is one for you that I think could be quite an interesting one. Okay, Amanda, Amanda, go for go for his jugular, Amanda. Okay, yeah. I intend to. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to wait right till the end. So yeah. for you, Ludo, this is the most boring thing in the world. <laughs> go. The most boring thing in the world is taking part in a just a minute game <laughs> that takes place right on the eve of Christmas Eve. I could be doing a whole range of other things with my evening. And instead, I'm stuck here with these other four contestants and the judge, Adrian Conway. I believe that uh, Mr. Conway... Hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> also deviation from the truth quite clearly. Yeah. Because this is this is this couldn't be further away from being boring, could it? <laughs> Come on, James. Okay, James, you, you've made a challenge there, and, and can I say your challenge was perfectly timed when he just started to say, "And the judge, Mister Conway, who knows what he was going to continue saying." <laughs> okay, okay. Mr. James, you've got you've got thirty-one seconds to steal the points. Go. Okay. Well, the boring, most boring thing I can think of is the drill that grinds its way into your molars when you're sitting in the dentist chair. Uh -huh. It whirs and okay. whines and produces terrible smells and wherever you look at the pretty pictures on the ceiling or in your dentist's face, it is all pretty terrible. However, another kind of object that does the same thing. Yeah, all right. Oh. Hey, Julia. <laughs> You've got one second, Julia. Uh, <laughs> Go. Just decide it. Oh, that's so bad. I honestly hesitated. I really no, yeah. you, didn't <laughs> actually, you didn't actually you stay this in one second, Julia. You will not be surprised here. I couldn't think of anything boring. <laughs> oh, this is really challenging my judging skills now. I reckon. I reckon you have to. I think you've got to distribute it to the to uh, either Ludo or Amanda, as, according to who, according to whomever you like best, Judge. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe my. That's, no, that's a no-win situ situation. So I can't give. I can't give the points to Julia because in her one second that she had to say something, she didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah. Julia, I defy you to repeat yourself in one second. <laughs> Yeah, even if she just said the. I'm a teacher. I would, I that would have satisfied it. <laughs> but similarly, I can't give the points to James because there was hesitation there. So I'm actually not going to award any points on this. Uh, that's. Yeah. But that round may come up again. We may have that again. Who knows? Because okay. we didn't finish. It. Right. Okay. Uh, I've forgotten where we're up to now. Who is? Who is it? Julia. No. Jesse. Yeah. Okay. Round two. Round two. The round two for you is the funniest thing in the world. Okay. So Go. For me, I think the funniest thing in the world has to be the series The Big Bang Theory. They somehow made nerdiness cool and they took it and ran with it. And absolutely, without fail, Sheldon Cooper, my heart, he makes me laugh through his unfiltered <laughs> men, internal landscape that is on display 24-7 in every episode. And the interaction between Howard Wolowitz and Penny in the very first seasons are also unmatched with any other comedy that... Deviation. I yes? Deviation. On what grounds? <laughs> on what grounds? First of all, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and secondly um i just thought i'd get to go anyway <laughs> take it away oh, okay okay so off you go then james oh god i didn't expect to win that okay the funniest thing i can think of is the time when that tar baby was sitting on the fence down in alabama somewhere and all the other animals in the local story gathered around him 
why there was a possum and a bear and a raccoon and even a chickadee with whose cousin was um, yes <laughs> okay so time up so there i don't think there was deviation from from uh, I, th I think james was just trying it on so i'm going to give jesse jesse one point there Thank you. Uh, oh, you're okay. James one point because I like the stories about the raccoons and the possum. <laughs> it's, not a, it's, not a, it's not a word that we use very often in, in English, James, is possum. So I think you get a, you should get a point for that. Okay, except uh, Day Medna Average use it for a fair amount, but then most of the audience is too, too young to know who she is. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Usual, I'll, send, I'll send you a meme. <laughs> you need to watch The Big Bang Theory, though, James. It's a uh, I'm sure you're I'm sure you're right. It's yeah. really, really funny. Okay, yeah. Excellent. Okay. Um, who, who's not had round two? Julia. Okay. <laughs> She's keeping very quiet. She is keeping <laughs> unusually quiet, really. This is, this is the quietest Zoom meeting I've ever had with Julia. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Right, okay. So you're, you're, <laughs> are you ready for this one, Julia? I think you, you'll do very well on this. So your uh, minute is going to be on alien life. Of course it is. <laughs> okay, so what you don't know about me is that I'm actually a big Star Trek fan. And I think alien life is a very, very good idea. I particularly like empathic life forms. I also like in Star Trek, um, Q, who was able to do anything and was thoroughly mischievous. So I think alien life form is fine as long as it's really well imagined. Whether there's real alien life out there or not, I can't quite imagine. Um, uh, Thank you. Repetition of imagine. Great, you can have it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a well, it's up, to, it, Julia. It's up to the I'm judge. About that. Okay, judge, judge, in 26 seconds. Amanda. Alien life is something that I've been leading for most of my career in England because <laughs> from my first arrival, that word was stamped in my passport and I had to take it over and over again to the police station every year in the county of Sussex in those days to have the thing renewed. Eventually, however, after hours and hours of queuing in Croydon at the home office, a lovely place called Lunar House, which opens at six in the morning to admit you at 9 a.m., Wow, surely that's very good. Luna House. That was very wow. good. Luna House, alien life forms. Yeah. Well, that's what, in fact, it's true. That's what it's called. Uh, yeah. Very clever. Very good. Okay, uh, that's great. Amanda, who's not had round two? Is it just you, Amanda? No, I've done. Okay. No, I did round two, didn't I? You did round two? Who, who hasn't? No, or did I? What was it? We're not, we're not oh, sure James, doing. James. <laughs> I'm say, I think I've done round two. Yes, I, I, I think James is the last, last one. Last one. I, I've just been aggressive and nasty about everybody else. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> You've taken to the game very well, James. I think you should do it. <laughs> well, you know, I've had years of talking what I, I mean, what you might quite politely say is nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the this is the last one. Um, so, James, what we'd like you to talk about for a minute is why will twenty twenty one be the best year of our lives? Why will twenty twenty one be the best year of our lives? Well, it is a year which will bring all sorts of changes. In the very least, there will be something exciting happening in Washington on the twentieth of January, and eventually they will sort out some sort of trade deal or not in between. Britain and the EU. Thus, we will all start earning lots and lots of lots of repetitions. Yay, Amanda Challenge. <laughs> Amanda, I'm very pleased that you challenged there because I don't I didn't I didn't really know in my handbook of judging just a minute, it doesn't say how to challenge how to deal with somebody challenging the challenge challenges themselves. Them. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I just, I just, it was just an open invitation. It's like school, <laughs> picking a ball into your own. I just ball. got there first. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm under uh, thirty-one what, seconds. What was the what? Hold on, what was the topic? The question was why will twenty twenty one be the best year of our lives? Okay, twenty twenty one will be the best year of our lives because hopefully we will come out of the situation and the environment we're in now. Um, I'm hoping as 
well that um, people will learn a lot from the last year and um, oh, what? <laughs> challenge <laughs> yay go on Jesse. I think probably psychologically speaking when something goes so terribly wrong in so many ways from bushfires to World War 3 speculation people need yeah there we go got it <laughs> By George, I think she got it. Wow. That was interesting for the, from the scores. Right. Okay, so what we've got, it's got quite an interesting situation. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to have a, um, uh, a, a, a sort of standoff, really, because we've got that challenge, Jesse, allowed you to come joint first with James. Whoa. Well, we could read seven yeah. points. Seven points each. Whoa. Okay. Um, Julia, you've got four points. Amanda, you've got two points. Ludo, you didn't manage to score, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't blame. Don't you dare blame the judge. <laughs> well, I've 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 heard that about Ludo in other contexts from other people. But anyway, carry on. Um, so <laughs> what? What? Okay, but judge, don't you think it's quite um, satisfactory in a symmetrical way that um, that the a, the most ancient and the most youthful are in, in you know balancing the thing at the same time. So we could maybe just, I mean, I'm happy to do a runoff, but I think it would be nice because um, I would feel impelled to throw myself on a sword at some point. They're going to share the trophy. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I mean, up to you, Judge. It's up to you. No, that's fine. If you're, happy, if you're both happy to do that. So uh, the, the winners of this, just a minute, QT competition 2020 is James and Jesse. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Welcome, both of you. Very good. Very good. And, and, I and noticed that... a tactic that a couple of you did, James particularly. You, to give you some thinking time, you started with the question. So it's like, you know, talk for a minute about what's boring. So to think about what's boring so you repeated back what you were asked and it gave you thinking time yeah. smart yeah well you know it's yeah yeah it's, it's all c clever craft i assure you yeah. <laughs> you know Ludo was telling me that he plays this with this with his students but they've worked out that if they speak very slowly, slowly. Then they're likely to win but then he makes them speak slowly for the rest of the session and that'll learn <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think I think a lot learned, and I think James and Jesse. Well, I mean, if you ever play a just a minute now, you cannot claim to to have zero experience. In fact, you will have to. You'll be legally obliged to let the other contestants know that you have, in fact, been victorious in a uh, publicly available just a minute competition. So um, that, 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 there's that, that's the pressure that comes with being winners. I myself will spend 2021 doing the most boring thing ever which is practicing for the next years just <laughs> well yeah, well funny. actually but actually if you can certainly blame the technology this time I and mean, that's obviously what went wrong isn't it <laughs> uh, uh, I, think, I, don't, I think that the chief of operations of sorry the chief operating officer of a digital company or an online company cannot claim to to be um to be foul of of, of technology so yeah, <laughs> And you may have to contend, contend with um, a bias to judge, but I, f far be it for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> that couldn't be the case. Hey, actually, the irony is, James, that it was Ludo that came up with the topics. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I should have. I should have seen that the podcasting one was coming my way. Um, oh, that's really funny. It was fitting. It was fitting. It was fitting. I, I also need to go and research what gold hunting is. But yeah. I'm pretty sure it's something. And yeah. you have a bean stew that your mother may not have been tending officially. No, it's it's possible, about dear listeners, that my, <laughs> as well as losing just a minute 2020, I have also lost my dinner. So, on that note, I would like to bid the uh, five of you uh, a, a very, very Merry Christmas uh, to all of our listeners. Thank you for being with us in 2020. This was the year that Q. <laughs> Six 
with us in 2021. We'll still be here. We'll still be here. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you in the new year. Okay, well, happy Christmas, everybody. and, and Happy much Christmas. Happy right. Christmas. Okay. Happy holidays. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Then. Oh, hey, I bye. Have a small one. Bye. Yay. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank, bye. thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you for our host, everybody. Adrian. And thank you, Josh. Thank George. you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, thanks. Et Haristopoli. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.